A few days later, after the competition was over, it was the 31st of October, also known as Halloween. All of the engines looked forward to this time of year. They loved seeing the wonderful fireworks and the children dressing up in their spooky costumes. They also loved Edward's spooky stories. And they say that every year, on the date of the accident, the ghost engine of the smelters rides again, wandering the lonely scraps, searching for his lost whistle. Well, because you'd been a scary engine, Percy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shut up, Thomas. All right, all right. That's enough out of you two. You should know that Thomas was only pulling your wheels, Percy. You want to scare the engine, and there's no such thing as ghosts. I know what you mean, Edward. But thanks anyway. Just then, the Fat Controller arrived to give the engines an important job. Thomas, Percy, and Duck, I have a very special job for you. I want you all to collect the trucks of scrap from the smelter's yard tonight. What? On Halloween? Don't worry, Percy. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be back to see the fireworks sometime. Heh, <laughs> Percy didn't have to be worried about not seeing the fireworks. He's a scary engine. <laughs> but he was. A little. When Percy arrived at the smelters, all he could think about was Edward's ghost story. Thomas knew Percy was scared, so he decided to tease Percy even more. <laughs> hey, what's up up there? It's a spook! But Thomas didn't take notice. He was having a lot of fun, so he kept on teasing Percy. You'd better be careful that the ghost engine doesn't get you. <laughs> Duck felt sorry for Percy. Don't worry, Percy. No one is brave all the time. But I'm not a scared engine! Later, the job was nearly completed. Well done, you three! Now, now I, I just, just need, need one, one engine to finish up. up. Duck wanted to pay Thomas back for teasing Percy. Why, Why did you, you pick Thomas, Thomas, sir? I'm, I'm sure, sure he won't mind staying here. Ha, <laughs> oh, no, of, of course not. not. I'm, I'm not a scary engine. engine. I'm, I'm always the number one engine on Zodor. I'm, I'm the brave one, one too. <laughs> so Duck and Percy left with their loads. Huh? What is this? Oh, dear. I'm not as brave as I really am. Uh, there's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, oh, wait! Who is there? Thomas was so busy looking for ghosts that he didn't watch where he was going. Oh no. Somebody around to help me. Uh, I want to go home. Hello? Suddenly, he ran into some loose chains. They ran across his boiler like ghost fingers. Ah! you got me! Oh, don't have each other's bloody chains. <laughs> 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 scaredy engine. Now are you, Thomas? But Thomas said nothing. Instead, he just wished some steam, and then set off an old steam whistle. Oh! oh. That almost made me jump. Yes! Let's get out of this hell alike! Ah! It's a ghost missile! Get me out of here! Help! The ghost engine is after me! <laughs> it was very naughty of Thomas to tease you like that, Percy. Ah! Uh, don't worry, Duck. Maybe he was only playing. But I hope he hurries up. He's going to miss the fireworks! <laughs> He's after me! Ah! <laughs> I don't think he'll be late. Now I see what you mean. <laughs> Shortly afterwards, Percy and Duck joined the other engines for the fireworks. 
but Percy wasn't seeming to have any fun. Well, looks like it serves him right for all his teasing, eh, Percy? I'm actually real Well, why not go and find him if you want? He'll be the brave engine once you've found him. Thanks, Doc. Wish me luck. Right, Percy, and good luck. So Percy set off to look for his friend. He found Thomas all alone in the shed. There you are, Thomas. I tried to find you everywhere. I couldn't find you until I found the place I haven't looked yet. And now I'm glad to see you. Anyway, are you okay? Yes, Percy. Listen, I'm sorry I teased you. Doc was right. <sighs> you know, we all get scared sometimes. And now, I really am a scary engine now. Oh, but you're a really brave engine for finding me, so, uh, thanks. Ah. Uh. No problem, Thomas. It was nothing. Now I have something to cheer you up. Now come on, Thomas. Let's see the fireworks. We can see them just as well from here. And sure enough, Percy was right. They could. Ah, now I'm feeling better again. Oh, thank you, Percy. You're a really good and bright friend, like Wendy the Pooh's best friend, Piglet. Ha ha ha. I'm really glad. Soon after Halloween was over, all the engines were happily sleeping in the shed. And as for Thomas and Percy, they all knew that there was no such thing as ghosts' engines. Well, almost. Look, it's just the wise old owl. 